friends, welcome back to Food Prep Guide. We're out in the garden today and we are over here with my zucchini rampicante plants. It's in the squash family and if you have ever grown squash, you know the number one issue is squash bugs. And I have three ways for you to deal with and kill squash bugs uh, that have worked for me. One I just discovered this year and it is one of those things, it's like why have I not thought about this before? Of course this is a wonderful way to kill squash bugs. So I'm going to share that with you too. Uh, I've just located some squash eggs. I'm going to give you a close up and show you what we're looking for. Okay, here is a cluster of squash bugs that my daughter found for me. She's a good squash egg hunter. <laughs> okay, so these eggs, let me get some sunlight on them. There we go. You can see they are brown. They're kind of copper colored and they're very small and they're always planted in clusters. You're not going to find just one or two. They're in clusters like this. And you can see this is the underside of the leaf. They do sometimes lay on the front side of the leaf, but the vast majority of the time they're gonna be on the underside of the leaves. And the key to controlling your squash bug population is killing them when they're at this stage. And then you don't ever have to deal with a squash bug infestation if you can kill off all the eggs. This first method involves just basically cutting around here, not cutting with scissors, just with your fingers, pinching it off and uh, drowning it. You only want to, you don't want to do this on baby plants, but any plant that has plenty of greenery, uh, lots of other green leaves, then forming a hole in this leaf is not going to cause any issues with the growth of your plant. Just don't do this on tiny baby plants that only have maybe four or five true leaves on them. But anything past that point in maturity, uh, you're good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my fingers I'm going to fold the leaf and pinch off right there. I'm going to unfold it, make sure I got them all. Did I get them all? Yep, looks like it. Okay, now I have I have a cup. I have a cup of soapy water here, so I've got my leaf here and I'm just going to drop it in there. Use my hands to pat it down, get it down in there. And they are going to drown and suffocate in that uh, soapy water and they won't even be able to hatch. So that's method one. Here is another patch of eggs again on the underside of the plant and the second method I'm going to show you is super fun. I just learned it this year um, and it's kind of one of those dub moments like how have, <clears throat> how have I not thought about this before but it is using these finger grippers. They are used uh, to count money and to flip through pages easier and they're just little silicone things that slip over your fingers. They've got these little knobs on them and we're just going to get in here, make sure the knobs are facing the eggs, one on each side, and I'm just gonna rub back and forth. It's gonna mess up that hole. It's gonna put a little hole in the plant, but that's okay. Again, don't do this on baby plants, but if a plant has at least five or six true leaves on it, you're good to go to make little holes like this and it will survive, it won't be an issue. And there we go, see lots of uh, squash bug egg parts. <laughs> As I was searching for some more squash eggs to show you all this third method, I found a, oops, there's some, perfect, okay. Um, I found a squash bug that had just hatched, and this is what they look like right after they hatch, and they can't fly yet right after they hatch. So if you miss the eggs, get, the, get them while they're still really little. I'm going to try to get it without flopping. There he is. Right there on that stem. You see him? Light gray. Itty, itty, bitty. Focus camera. Not wanting to focus. There he goes. There he is. That's what they look like, except there's usually 10 of them, not just one, because they all hatch around the same time. Okay, I'm going to have to squish them. Sorry, Mr. Squash Bug. Okay, here we are, some more eggs, and the third method is all you need is just a strip of duct tape, and I'm just going to tape it reverse side to where the reverse side is showing, slip it over my fingers. You've probably done this with some, as a DIY lint roller before. <laughs> And we're just going to go on here and just start patting those eggs, and they're going to come off onto the duct tape like that. Now, they aren't killed at this point. Just getting them onto the duct tape, you can see they're not crushed, so they're not dead. Um, but we're just going to uh, fold it over on itself. i got to get that one last egg. Here we go. Fold it over on itself. I'm going to squish, 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 and then I'm just going to dump it in that same uh, jar of soapy water that I showed you in that first method. 
And that's it, three ways to kill squash bugs. I hope that helps y'all. The time to get a, get a squash bug infestation under control is to stop it before it starts by killing them and their eggy stage. <laughs> that's it for today, see y'all next time, bye.